So here is a big challenge that I am seeing many people face. And that big challenge is that many people get a lot of information without knowing how to anchor their learning. Let me give an example. I just came to my balcony. It's 1.51 a.m. as I'm recording this for you. Um, just had an amazing coaching call with uh, one of my mentors, one of my original mentors, Jeremy, who's from United States of America. And, and just to give you an idea, if you want to work with Jeremy, it's $15,000 per day if you want to learn from him. So the people who can invest in that level of capacity are the people that get to even learn from him directly one-on-one. So if you, if you go to his home and for a day, uh, for eight hours, you pay him $15,000, uh, somewhere between 10 to 12 lakhs rupees. If you want to learn from him in an hourly basis, he charges $3,000 per hour to learn on an hourly basis um, on phone or on Skype. Um, different numbers he has. So now the reason I'm sharing this with you is because one of the things I've learned over the years by mentoring hundreds and thousands of IT professionals, project managers, CEOs, chartered accountants, and different men, and occasionally few women that I take on into my programs, and it's mostly men, because that's, what I'm, that's who I'm focused on helping right now. One of the mistakes many people make is they watch a lot of YouTube videos, just like you're watching right now. Um, Watching it is not a mistake, so hang on with me. They watch a lot of YouTube videos, they read a lot of books, they read articles, um, they get more information, but they never apply this knowledge that they have learned. So it's kind of the example that I want to give you, the metaphor for this, it's like eating a lot of food without digesting it. So you're eating a lot, but it's not helping your body. It's not giving you more, more energy. It's just overwhelming you. Have you ever been to one of those parties where, you know, the food is good. So instead of enjoying the food <clears throat> that is good for your body, you eat a lot, more than you need, more than you want, just to stuff the food into your body. And then how do you feel after coming home? You feel overwhelmed. You take the jeans off. You take the shirts off. You just take a quick shower and you hit the bed because you are tired after eating. And how do you feel the next morning? You feel tired and grudgy. Why? Because the food overwhelmed you. It didn't get into your body in a positive manner. It overwhelmed. How do you feel after waking up? Low energy. You go to office and you feel, man, yesterday's party was so, uh, so, so tiring that I did not... I have enough time and even if I slept so much, I still feel tired, right? Well, the same thing happens in your mind. As you learn more, but if you don't apply this knowledge, it's like eating too much without being able to digest. So what I want you to do every single time you learn something from my videos or if you're getting my daily mentoring, the daily email that I send every morning to all the subscribers, uh, if you don't know how to get it, just uh, go to bishalsatkar.com, go to my website, um, and you'll know exactly where to sign up for that. Um, but every single day you learn something from me or from somebody else, some of your um, closest mentors, or if you are into my program, uh, or if you're going to be in my program, if you consider me as a mentor already, which I think you do, that's why you're listening to me. Um, I want you to write down at least one sentence after this video to anchor that learning so that you know exactly what you learned. Okay, one sentence, anything that you learned um, for yourself. And may maybe it's an, in an SMS folder, maybe in a phone, just record a quick audio. Anything that you do, just anchor that learning. Just write it down so that it becomes a part of you. And at the end of the day, you can read your SMS to yourself, right? You're not texting anybody else. And you can see all the learnings that you had throughout the day. So instead of having a lot of overwhelm of information, you're having specific anchored learning that are anchored in your brain subconsciously. And that's exactly what I tell. Uh, see, when I, when I take people into my courses to teach them about how to become a confident speaker and how to master their public speaking skills and how to give phenomenally connective and engaging presentations that really wow people, 
I often tell people, look, you have got a lot of information from people and I'm going to teach you just a amazingly powerful practical formula and then we go into implementation that means they get into the stage I teach them something they give the presentation I give them feedback I give them coaching they take down notes um, very condensed version and we work with them one more time one more time and because people don't come to us for information people come to us for results People don't come to us because they want to learn 97 techniques of public speaking. They come to us because they want to be an amazingly fucking powerful and confident speaker who can rock the stage, who can dominate the stage and win their freedom and grow in their career and make more income and take better care of their children and their wife. That's why people come to us for. So I want you to anchor your learning. Write down one sentence about what you learned from this. Um, and this is going to be awesome. All right. That's my midnight thought for you. And I don't know when you're listening. Maybe you're listening in the morning, in the night, in the middle of the afternoon. Any time is fine if you just anchor that learning. All right. So before you go to the next video and you can see a lot of videos in the right hand or the left hand or here and there. But if you don't learn, if you don't anchor this learning, it's just useless information that is overwhelming you. It's like that food that you don't get to digest. So digest the food that you've got, apply it and your life is gonna be amazing. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection.